My 2022 garden year was really good one. I grew a lot of flowers, medicinal herbs, and vegetables. Here are just a few examples of what I was harvesting throughout the year. So these first ones are from the spring when I was growing a lot of leafy greens, peas, broad beans. Then closer to summer, as you can see, I was harvesting potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, zucchini. And then close to fall, I had a lot of eggplants, cucumbers, and a ton of different colorful peppers. It was a great year and I preserved most of my harvest. I also had a few improvements or I should say additions to my garden. These elevated raised beds I was gifted for Valentine's Day. This Ole galvanized steel raised bed I received in collaboration with Ole company. And I really like this raised bed. Also for my birthday, I got two green stock planter towers and I was growing a lot of flowers and tomatoes in the summer and then in the fall I had spinach, lettuce and a ton of herbs in there. So this is the layout of my backyard and front yard with all of my raised beds and in ground uh, growing spaces which are black, my raised beds are white and I also pictured here uh, my green stock planters and a ton of other pots, cold frame and a greenhouse. So let's start with my backyard garden planning. I will mainly be growing and planting in white spots, which are my raised beds. Out of the in-ground, I will be only growing in this one. The other ones are filled with perennials. So in three middle raised beds, I will be growing all of my brassicas, cabbages, broccolis, and cauliflower. In Ole galvanized steel, I'll be growing radish and beets. In my elevated raised beds, I'll be growing radish and broad beans. In the last raised bed, I'll have peas and carrots. And in that in-ground space that's empty, I'll have peas by the wall. Uh, with some trellising and I'll also plant leeks and onions. In two of my green stock planters I'll plant lettuce on the top tier, then spinach, then arugula, bok choy and swiss chard in the bottom. I also have an herb tower which has five planters and I'll have parsley, dill, cilantro, chervil and tarragon in there. Now in my front yard garden in 2023, I will be growing a lot of flowers. In the spring, I am planting a ton of pansies. Also, I'll have ornamental kale in between. And on the side of my house, I have a tiny uh, strip of land, which is in ground growing space. And I'll have beets, carrots, and radishes growing in there. So, as always, I am starting most of my uh, vegetables indoors under the grow lights. I have already started some cold uh, tolerant vegetables. Um, I started some bok choy, kale, bok choy, lettuce, spinach, some cabbages. I started my pansies already and I will be taking them into my greenhouse in the end of February, beginning of March to get them acclimated to the outside temperatures. And then I will transplant them into my raised beds. I will have my frost blankets ready to cover them up. And then on top of the frost blankets, I will also have um, some plastic sheeting so it's going to be like two layers of protection last year i did it in the beginning of march and i had my first harvest in the end of the month so this year i am planning to replicate my last year's success 
maybe do things even a little bit earlier just to stretch my boundaries. I hoping for success and I wish you a happy gardening year as well.